everybody who's like a professional bread maker is probably just like losing their fucking minds watching me make this but it's okay because we are here to do our best not do the best hey guys welcome back to half baked it's been some time we have been just goofing off what have we been doing nothing but we've been not feeling it honestly i'm just gonna lay it all out there be honest we just haven't been feeling it but now we are so we are back and we're not doing a trejo taco today we just decided to cook a dinner that i have been wanting to eat for so long we are making country fried steak from scratch with homemade texas roadhouse rolls <laughs> you had to <laughs> announce it like that through cupped hands yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a country old fashioned meal. And it's just something to get us cooking together again because we've been making quick meals. So we haven't been in the kitchen. And we've chosen a sort of labor intensive meal country fried steak, corn, mashed potatoes, and rolls. We found a Texas Roadhouse roll recipe on Facebook that I screenshot and have no other information for. So for dinner rolls, you need four and a half cups of all-purpose flour, uh, one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast, rapid rice. Is that instant yeast, rapid rice? I think so. Not recommended for recipes that call for instant or rapid rise yeast. We may have to rethink this. We also need a large egg at room temperature. Do we have it? Shit. We have exactly one egg. We actually might need to go buy eggs because I think for the country fried steak we need eggs. Frickin' hell. So we might actually need eggs and yeast. To the, to the target! <laughs> and we're back because it's not a half-baked video unless we forgot something. <laughs> so we've got our rapid rise yeast now. Three cups of flour. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of instant rapid yeast. One fourth cup of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Let's show off. Those are dough balls. This is before. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna come up later. For 17 to 18 minutes. Can I put this like this? Hold it so it looks like boobs. A. Whoa. This bit would have been much funnier if you had come back like 30 minutes ago. I'm iron tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wash some potatoes and I'm going to put them in chunks so they boil faster. Right time to chop these bitches and I turned on the wrong mancha. This could be so wrong but I don't care. Because this is half baked, and if you want better shit, you, you should go bank. to the Food Network. Oh. Now we're mixing up our butter, milk, and our egg. I'm just gonna incorporate this with my hand because I feel like it's gonna break my whisk. Oh. We'll see if working it with the hands is better. Look, my hand is a dough hook. I'm kind of surprised I don't see like more bakers with like just fucking ribbed arms. It's gonna just gonna. Okay, we'll just put that there. And then it says to let vibe out for 30 minutes. It says vibe out? Yeah, it says vibe out. Let the dude vibe out. So and it's about that time when the monsters show up. Now we bring out the potato masher. I'll cook it with one hand and film it with the other. Ooh, this is getting smoky. Okay, here's a little status report. It is now, what time is it? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. We have been cooking for a million hours. We have made a million things. We have uh, grown as people. This is one big reason why we don't do this very often because it does take forever. But here's the thing why it takes forever because we cook a lot of meals. Heck, we made every meal. We made like about 10 meals this week. 
Yeah. Um, cooked. But, like, we, we know the shortcuts and we know uh, what are easy things to make. But, like, when we want to cook together, we want to make something fancy and we want to go all out. Yeah, we want to do it right. Like homemade yeast rolls or country fried steak. So, now that's why. But you know what? Come midnight, me and him are going to be having <laughs> the best meal ever. Look at that. Look at that. Welcome to dinner with the greens. Now is that delicioso? It is. It's crunchy. Mm-hmm. All right, they're a little too hot. Oh. But we're gonna try them anyways. So I wouldn't say it tastes like Texas Roadhouse rolls, but it is a roll. It is bread and it is pretty good. They're a little bit more sweeter, maybe more sugar would have done the trick, or more butter. But I like them. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, it's a roll. We got ourselves a country cooked meal. Yee. Well, I think we're gonna get to eating. Because it is like midnight. But thanks so much for watching. Keep on watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on TikTok and on Instagram. We are, we promise this time it will be different. This time we'll start posting more. This time we are changed people. We'll see. Yeah. Cut, cr cr crunchy, <laughs> country fries. Crunch, country fries. Shit.